Welcome to Unit 4. In this unit, we discover the unexpected and unusual events which can upset our expectations and make us look at the world in a different way. We also look at how we can be tricked into believing something through illusion, magic and scams. Listen to some people talking about magic and the unexpected. I think it creates a sense of joy and if people are able to find joy in things I think that's great. I think it should be delivered in a in a way that is respectful to other people's ideas and maybe not in your face about it, but I think if you choose to take part in that and enjoy that then yeah. yeah it's entertainment. People like to I think when you're creating around magic, people kind of forget about everything else. It brings joy and happiness to them. Oh, because it's, um, it, it brings you um, 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 uh, 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 some kind of like a, a new experiences, like something that you cannot, you know, ever imagine. So it uh, will inspire people. Yeah. Well, I think J.K. Rowling has kind of hit the nail. Um, I think it's something about um, that there's something other than the mundane and the mundane is, is what we kind of live with and it's kind of saying that there's something something to believe in that gives us hope or that there is something of the supernatural or about life that is more than we know, which is actually true, is like the mystery, isn't it? So it's kind of playing into the mystery. Illusions, like it creates people to think about how stuff is done and like seeing things differently. No, I don't enjoy magic shows. Um, I, I enjoy the life, the lives of magicians, for example, so I've, I've, um, we've watched some great movies about magicians, mm -hmm. and also I like reading about uh, Harry Houdini, uh, but myself, I'm not taken by magic. <laughs> yeah, the song, The Person in Half, or, you know, I don't want to reveal it or anything, but it's very complicated. I mean, when I was small, my dad uh, used to do the trick where you do this and then it looks like you've taken your thumb off. And I think I kind of believed it for a while until he showed me that it was actually his thumb tucked away. Yeah, usually uh, where I'm from in Vancouver, we have a lot of um, people that do magic tricks on the streets. So I recently saw a card trick, so which was really cool. I picked a card and then the person was able to uh, give it back to me without actually looking at the cards. Yeah. <laughs> when, I, when I was a child, my uncle told me that there was a tile in the kitchen that if you pressed it would open the back door. And when I pressed it, obviously he had somebody out opening the back door. But for years afterwards, I pressed every tile in the kitchen trying to get that back door to open. Never worked. Ooh, uh, David Blaine. Like, I saw him, uh, it was when my family went to Las Vegas. Uh, for like a family trip and like he was standing on water. I don't know how like he did it, it was just awesome. So it was an attempt to steal my Twitter account. So they actually managed to discover my password, but I was contacted by Twitter soon enough in order to change my password. But for a moment that was scary and I had a quite simple password back then. So since then I've been making them slightly more complicated. Uh, I've certainly, as with many people, been cheated on a credit card on occasion. And uh, I, I know that in, uh, in business, that uh, people have lied and cheated on occasion. Uh, and, uh, and so I've had to deal with it. My computer was hacked and uh, they were able to access it remotely. And so they were able to get all of my information, unfortunately. And in that process, I had to cancel all of my credit cards. I had to get new bank account information. And it was a really long ordeal that was quite scary um, and nerve wracking, but it resolved itself. So I get quite a lot of phishing mails on my professional account. 
Um, some of them are hilariously funny and hilariously bad. But generally speaking, one has to be very careful on the internet. Don't, don't click any unnecessary links. It's the most basic rule of thumb. Yeah. I delete everything that I don't recognize. I don't answer phone calls that have an unknown area code because there's, there's some significant frauds. And I've been offered significant amounts of money from Nigeria, but I refuse to take the offers.